He questions the validity of the controversial liberation therapy for multiple sclerosis. Researchers say they found narrowed veins in just as many people without MS as those with the disease. The findings call into question the theory that MS is caused by or associated with the narrowing of the veins leading from the brain. Dr. Bill Code is a retired anesthesiologist who has multiple sclerosis. He underwent the liberation treatment three years ago. He's standing by in our studios in Victoria now with his thoughts. What do you make of this study, Bill? Well, I think it's a great study to have done because in the last two or three years we've heard a huge amount bandied back and forth because the majority of the studies have been done with ultrasound or Doppler. And of course this study on the so-called gold standard of dye injection into the vein and then taking x-rays of it, which we've done for years to look at blood vessels, has shown that there's many more narrowings of the veins than we anticipated with the Doppler or ultrasound. In fact, as you said, it's roughly two-thirds in so-called normals, siblings of MS patients, and MS patients. They're not dissimilar. So I'm, I'm not all that surprised. In fact, I'm really encouraged because that's now in a really significant journal, The Lancet, and it now lets us start to talk much more about what this is associated with. For example, we've always, in the last while, it's mostly been in the news that it's about MS only, but it's not about MS. It's about several parts of brain health. But doesn't it ultimately things like doesn't it ultimately go against the 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 notion or the purpose of the liberation therapy in the first place? Well, it, it, it doesn't actually so much as you might think it might, because the difference probably is what is happening in the veins and the sinuses, the collections of blood within the venous side up in the brain, because that's where the variation occurs amongst. If that variation is different in the two sides and in a relationship, then the narrowing in the vein becomes a big factor. But if you have very good crossover for both sides within the brain, then the narrowing is not near the crisis. And so that's why we now are starting to appreciate, and there's items in the literature talking about it in migraine headache, Parkinson's, and even traumatic brain injury, especially those folks that don't recover. So we've now broadened the lens, and the study has helped us do that. So it would be very interesting to talk to the folks that were so-called normal, but have narrowings and watch them now over the next one or two decades, do they fit into any of those categories? Migraine headache, Parkinson's, hmm. traumatic brain injury, and so on. Bill, let me just jump in and ask you, uh, your advice to people who are considering uh, getting this therapy, who have MS like you do, uh, who went for this therapy, you went for it, what would your advice be? They're looking at this study, they're saying, oh, well, maybe I shouldn't do this. Well, you know, it's really important to get good oxygen flow to the brain. So think about this for a minute. If we have someone driving the 401 highway to Toronto, so eastbound, and there's four lanes, and we're saying here that 70% of people only have two lanes open, and sometimes they may only have one lane open. So there's a great slowing of the flow of traffic in that case, but its analogy is slowing of the blood flow. So well, you can get the cars in all those little by-roads outside the 401, but they're not going to travel near as quickly. So consequently, you're going to have in some people parts of the brain without enough blood flow and therefore not quite enough oxygen. And there's already a, an abstract in literature done by Petroff and others out of Europe showing that folks with the narrowed veins that they've treated, in this case it was for MS, yes, they had a lower oxygen concentration above the blockage and a higher carbon dioxide concentration that completely normalized when you opened up the vein. So my advice to people, and I have now suggested it also to people with okay. migraine headache, trauma, brain trauma, and Parkinson's, and I still suggest it to MS, if they have some of the symptoms consistent with this relative vein blockage. But not everybody with MS does. Bill, thanks so much for your time. Appreciate it. Thank you.